Hello everyone, this is Kyle Galaz with Poor to Pro Car Sales Training Podcast. Become a sales titan. Season 2 is here. I'm so excited about Season 2. We're going to change it up a little bit. Season 1 was awesome. Those 10 episodes that I did, I received tons of great feedback. Um, I've got to meet a lot of really cool people via Facebook and Instagram from you guys listening to my podcast and then finding me on uh, Facebook and Instagram. So if you want to find me on Facebook... Uh, just type in Kyle Galaz. And if you want to see me on Instagram, my Instagram name is poor to pro underscore car sales training. Okay, you'll recognize the logo. I might be changing my logo up a little bit, um, toying with a few ideas. But season two, the next 10 episodes, we're going to be a little bit shorter. I'm going to try to keep them all under 10 minutes because I'm noticing a lot of you listeners are listening on the way to the dealership. So my other episodes in season one were 25 minutes or so on average. Well, I don't know if you guys commute that long, but I want to try to keep it to your normal commute on the way to work so you guys can get pumped up, amped up, and ready to sell some cars, okay? So we're going to be talking about in season two different closing techniques to get that customer at your desk and close them down. So we're going to have a lot of fun. I hope to hear some good feedback from you guys. We've had thousands of listens across almost every state and some other countries out there. So I'm really excited about how the podcast is growing. And it's all because of you, the listener. Thank you. My goal is to change the game forever. Not just be, oh, he's a car sales guy. I want to be known as a car sales professional that is like a doctor or a surgeon, right? And that's how I want you guys to think of yourselves and your customers look at you. You're not just a car sales guy. We got to change that. You're a car sales professional and you get paid like it over 100K a year. That's my goal for you guys. All right, let's get started. So episode one, we're going to talk about, um, I call it this, this is the title I put on this close because I use it all the time and it works almost 100% of the time. And it's the 100% information close. Okay. So. I'm going to set up the scenario so you guys know when to use this, and then I'm going to talk about different ways to use it. So this is the scenario that I run into a lot with my sales guys, right? Customer comes in, but they're reluctant to sit down and work numbers, right? They want to look around. This is the first place they stopped. And what they're really saying is we're scared to work numbers because we know we might buy it. Or we're scared to work numbers because our credit's not that great and we're embarrassed. Or we don't have a down payment. There's a lot of objections that the customer won't come, um, they won't be honest about because they might be embarrassed. Their guard is up. The last dealership tried screwing them. So their guard is up. So this is the close I use. And again, you're going to use it to your best ability using my verbiage, but eventually you'll morph it into something that you say where it's fluid for you. Cause everyone talks a little different. We all use different words, but here's a scenario, right? Customers in the showroom, they don't want to work numbers with the sales guy. I come out and I say this and I'm, I'm teaching my sales guys to start saying this so I don't have to even get involved. So boom, they go right to the desk, but this is usually what happens. Here we go. Hey, Mr. Customer, thanks for coming in. Anytime a customer gets in our showroom, it's a victory, right? You know, when a business is open and people show up, it's a great thing. So thank you for coming in. Um, I know you guys want to go home and think about it and, you know, really make an educated decision. And I get that or do research or look at other dealerships. Totally understandable. But before you leave, will you allow me to to do 100% of my job and get you 100% of the correct information? I can't send you out to think about something if you don't have all the information that I can give, right? And then we can say as a salesman and a sales manager, hey, we gave them everything we got. It's up to them if they want to buy it or not. All I'm asking you is for just a couple minutes, but then I can put everything on the table, on paper, your your payment, your interest rate, you're out the door. And then if you still want to think about it, then you got every piece of information that I can give you. That fair? Okay, pause. That is one type of verbiage I've used. Um, of course I'm interacting with the customer throughout this. I'm not just saying something that's, um, you know, a canned speech, but what I'm saying, let's break down what I'm actually saying is I don't want to let you leave without giving you all the information, because if you want to make a truly educated decision, I'd like to give you a hundred percent of what I got, right? If I let you leave with just the price of the vehicle, You have no idea the interest rates we can get you. You have no idea the payments, the terms. So I've sent you to make an educated decision with only half the info. Okay. That's what I'm breaking down. So you you can, 
you can make that into your own words, but what that's doing, you got to understand the psych psychological part of what that's doing. It's lowering the guard of the customer, right? You're, you're, a, you're making it to where the customer now is going to work numbers with you. Okay. They, oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. I guess if I want to make an educated decision, I better have all the information, but, right? But what are we actually doing as a salesman in a, in a dealership? We're getting the customer to the next step. Okay. So what I do at that point now is I say, okay, here's, let's get you to the desk. And I say, hey, my sales guy is going to take some very basic info from you just so that way we can lock down the exact interest rate because I don't want to guess on interest rate. Okay. It's not going to mess up your credit, but at least I'll have uh, the 100% approved rate. And then you have all the 100% the accurate information. Okay. So what happens when you start doing the credit app? Mentally, that customer is, is buying the car. You're still, you're still disguising them buying the car as we're just gathering information, right? We want to give you 100% of the information so you can go and think about it. But the moment a customer is giving you social security numbers, job time, uh, you know, whatever the scenario is on your credit app that they've given you, they're mentally buying it without even knowing they're buying it. And then your finance manager or you come back or your sales manager comes back with, hey, we got you approved at this rate. We got you this payment at this term and this term. And, you know, whatever the scenario is, we got you approved if you want to do an extended warranty or gap, right? But now you have a payment, you have their credit. What else can you do as a salesman other than that? At some point, the customer still has to decide, I want to buy a car. But no one gives their credit and all that personal information unless in the back of their head, yeah, they're gathering information. They they want to buy the car. But you have to sometimes disguise working numbers as, I'm not trying to sell you the car, folks. I'm just trying to get you the information so that when you go home to think about it, you have every bit of information that I can give. Then I can go home tonight and say, hey, I did everything I could with this customer to earn their business the right way by giving them all the correct information. See, you're disguising well, what, this is what a lot of salespeople do after the test drive. Well, let's put it on paper and see what your, your payment is or price, right? The customer says, whoa, 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 we're just looking. And then you don't know how to overcome it, right? So this is where that close comes in. Folks, I totally get you want to go and think about it or shop, you know, our prices and all this. But I, I, I can't let you leave without only giving you part of the information. If you truly want to make an educated decision, let me give you 100% of what I got. If at that point you want to buy the car, great. If not, at least you have everything I got to, to, to make a deal, right? And then you can get back to me. You're kind of giving the customer a loophole, but you just keep pressing them forward, pressing them forward, and the next thing you know, they're signing for the car because they don't want to do this all over again in another dealership. But if you give them an easy way out, they just test drove the car, and now they get to leave. That was too easy. They didn't spend a whole lot of time at the dealership, and you're no different than any other car salesman they just left. That's where they always leave. Customers are good at getting out of the, the car deal. But if you disguise the numbers, the interest rate and all that under the under the the disguise of this is just information for you to think about, a lot of times they end up buying the car. It works so well. Try to figure out a way that works for you and the verbiages that work for you, but try it out and perfect it because it's a wonderful thing because their guard is all the way down and you're, you're getting them to do a credit app, show them payments, show them interest rate. Hey, you're approved at this rate. You know, excellent. Everything's exactly where they want it to be. Okay, so we kept that under 10 minutes. I feel like I should keep going, but I want to keep everything under 10 minutes for season two. That way you guys can listen on the way to work. Find me on Instagram. Find me on Facebook. Uh, I love that you guys are listening and I love the feedback. And again, we're here to change the game and turn you into a sales titan and make over 100 k a year. The guys that are listening to me and doing what I'm telling them, telling them to do and using these these uh, verbiages and techniques, they are making 100 k a year. I have a 21 year old right now that is that's on pace to make 150 thousand this year. He made 16 thousand five hundred last month from listening. He's a sponge. Be a sponge. I'm here to help you guys. Thank you, Porta Pro Car Sales Training Podcast. Kyle Galaz out.